A new trade battle brewing with Japan. Is American film getting fair exposure in the Japanese market? A farewell photo in space as the astronauts and cosmonauts prepare to split up. And the new Congress in your money. Billions of dollars for weapons the Pentagon doesn't want. From ABC, this is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Sitting in tonight, Catherine Pryor. Good evening. Back in a moment. The State Department today made its displeasure very clear. As far as the U.S. is concerned, China's behavior is completely unacceptable. State Department officials are increasingly furious and frustrated over their inability to get a straight answer to a simple question. Where is Harry Wu? Here's ABC's David Ensor. In Harry Wu's hometown in Northern California today, his wife and the mayor were putting out yellow ribbons. If this can happen to my husband, it can happen to any American traveler in China. Harry Wu is not just any American traveler. He spent 19 years in Chinese labor camps before emigrating to the U.S. in 1985. He has returned to China several times, exposing Beijing's human rights violations. Though he holds a valid U.S. passport and a Chinese visa, he has been detained without charges in China for three weeks now, and the Chinese have refused to allow a U.S. diplomat to see him. Today, U.S. officials said China had misled them about where Harry Wu was being held. He sent a consular officer from Beijing several thousand miles to western China. He then had to take a taxi 12 hours over 350 miles to visit this town, only to be told by the local officials that there was no Harry Wu there. The consular officer is still in the small town, and the United States still hasn't been told where Harry Wu is. China's top diplomat in Washington was summoned to the State Department today and told, quote, to stop violating international law. In fact, the Chinese have been doing a great many things lately to annoy Washington. They have declined for six weeks to accept the president's nominee to be the next ambassador to China, Senator Jim Sasser. And they have canceled all high-level visits to the U.S. The Chinese say what has really soured the relationship was the granting of a U.S. visa a few weeks ago to Taiwan's president. The Clinton administration is under congressional pressure to punish China if Harry Wu is not freed soon. The human rights activist is only the latest symbol of the deteriorating state of U.S.-Chinese relations. David Ensor, ABC News, the State Department.